Good day from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. The Senate Armed Services Committee put off a vote today on John Tower's nomination to be Defense Secretary. The panel is checking into new allegations about Tower's behavior. House Speaker Jim Wright announced today that a proposal to cut the 50% congressional pay hike to 30% will be put to a vote next week. The General Accounting Office urged Congress today to take over and isolate all failing savings and loans before they damage the entire banking industry. The government says sales of new houses rose a bit last year after plunging in 1987. President Bush welcomed Japan's Prime Minister Takeshita to the White House today for a get acquainted meeting on the agenda, trade, defense, and foreign aid issues. South Africa's President P.W. Bota, who is recovering from a stroke, resigned today as head of his party. He remains head of state. Princess Diana visited a community center in Manhattan today. The Henry Street Settlement provides help to the homeless, to drug addicts, and to AIDS victims. Now this. You're looking at the reason Crayola created bright, vivid, washable markers. They wash off children and their clothes. So children can create and come out clean. Washable markers from Crayola, every child's camera of life. This was Punxsutawney Phil's day in the sun. The sun cast a shadow, the groundhog saw it, and according to tradition, that means six more weeks of winter weather. I'm Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York. See you tomorrow on the CBS Morning News. This is CBS.